Hey, Matt, you got time to talk about those door knocks? Yeah, I do, actually, because, so, uh, I have some fear on my, uh, uh, so, listen, I Second week in the field, he's wrote four policies so far. Door knocks in the dark mail leads. Two of them, I, one was just real easy, I said an appointment for tomorrow, well, two of them were easy, I said two, two more appointments for tomorrow, but then the other two, <laughs> The other two places, I I just feel myself wanting to get into an argument with them over whether they filled out the card or not. Um, and in both cases, like, the wife had filled out the card and the husband was present. This last instance, the wife had filled out the card, the husband came to the door, and, well, the wife didn't even... The wife, listen, the wife didn't even come to the door, um, but, you know, and so I asked him, and then, you know, he's like, man, and I could hear her talking from, she was in the kitchen or whatever, um, but um, he's like, well, she's not interested, and, like, you know, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I heard her saying, I heard her say to him, um, uh, so I, I don't remember what she said first, but then she said, but we'll probably need it. <laughs> um, but I don't know, what, but he came back and said, I'm not interested. Like, what do I do? Like, you know, I, I don't think that you would have sent, sent the card out if you weren't interested. Uh, and so <laughs> both, both that time and the time before, oh, let, this is great. Listen to this. The people, the other door knock I had today, they said they just wanted to see what it was about. And they already have $500,000 in, in an account. And they wanted to see what the $30,000 was. And I'm like, so you're telling me you have $500,000 in an account, and yet you're asking about 30000 Like, I don't... <laughs> I'm just getting really angry when they're saying, no, I mean, not really angry. Well, I, I am annoyed, but, um, you know, this last guy, I really said, eventually, I mean, I think I was done anyway, but I said, okay, listen, you have some policies in place. Let me, let me, you know, I, you know, nobody pays me to compensate with you. Let me, uh, help you and, and help you take a look at what you have. Uh, you know, cause he didn't know what he had. He just said he, they had something in place and they had life insurance policies. And so, you know, I said, let me help you, you know, uh, you know get organized or whatever. And then you know, whatever you do with my information, you know, it's up to you. And he's like, just not interested. <laughs> like, why, why are you going to refuse somebody to come out there and help you, not going to charge a dime, figure out what you got? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. So I don't know. Um, maybe, I don't, I'm not really sure. Yeah. So you're, I can't door knock anymore. No, I, I can't. You're Do listening it. to what the clients say and you're believing them. So well, you're you're letting them okay. sell you on the fact that they're not interested. That's why you're I don't fresh. believe it. No, I, I mean I know I know it's an objection, and I know that whenever you say you're not interested, that's not really the case. But how do I get past that and sign an appointment? <laughs> yeah. So not interested is just a smokescreen, knee jerk reaction, meaning. I don't want to deal with this right now. So, <clears throat> number one, if he says that he's not interested, but you hear her talking in the background, hey, no big deal, John. Uh, Meredith filled this out. Is she around? And if he says, well, we're not, we're not interested. We're not interested. If he keeps up with that. Like he kind of did, but you you heard the wife express some interest. I would go door knock yeah. him again. Oh, okay. Honestly, and 
and then just level with them and say, hey, you know, yeah, I know I stopped by the other day. I was back in the area. Um, it seemed like your wife, uh, seemed, it seemed like I caught you guys off guard. And I just wanted to see when's generally best to catch you guys. Is it best to come in the morning or in the afternoon? Like if I came by around 9 a.m. on Saturday, would I have some coffee left? And just smile. So like a couple, couple things I wrote down here when you were talking. You can, u- you can use humor to break through this smokescreen crap. Because when they're giving you smoke screens, they're not even consciously thinking, right? It doesn't even make sense that they're not interested. Like, what? Like I haven't even presented you anything with anything yet. Right. It's like, how are you not interested? Yeah. So what you can say is basically how you say it on the phone. Okay. Perfect. No big deal, John. You don't have to buy anything. I don't need any money. My job is simply just to go over the information that looks like your wife requested. When's better to do that? In the mornings or the afternoons generally? Well, we're not interested. Yeah, I got that. That's perfect. That's okay. You, you don't have to be interested. My job is just to go over the information that was requested. Is it better to catch you in the morning or the afternoon? Like, we don't care if he's interested because we know that's BS. Like, it's it's by, bypass it. It's acknowledge it. Yep, perfect. Ignore it. Like, I know you're full of it. Yeah. That, yeah. And, and then go back into the appointment. Like, Okay, like step step around his little silly white lie, yeah. Yeah. his knee jerk reaction, and to say, "Hey, no problem. Uh, you don't have to buy anything at all. Uh, my job is just to drop the information to those who requested it and answer any questions." Uh, it takes me about five minutes, depending on your questions. When's better to catch you? In the mornings, afternoons? How about tomorrow at four o'clock? How about tomorrow, uh, either 9 a.m. or 1 p.m., which of those would work better for you and Meredith? it take about five minutes, and then I'll get out of your hair, and you can decide for yourself. You know, so, so yeah. um, there's a thing from the psychology of selling that Brian Tracy does that I really like. Essentially, it says, and it breaks it down. I'll see if I can find it in his book, and I'll take some pictures and send it to you. But basically, it's like, hey, Mr. Prospect, All I need is five minutes of your time to show you what I've got, and you can decide for yourself. Fair enough? I'll have to look look that up on YouTube or something. It's pretty Uh, simple. Hey, you minimize the requirement. Hey, I just need five minutes. You give them control. You can completely decide for yourself what to do with the information. Is that fair enough? A reasonable is that is that is that reasonable? Yeah. So okay, I definitely. What you're saying to me is really the you know sort of really how you would get past that objection on the phone. I mean, yeah. You know, you, it's the exact same. I just need to translate that what I was doing on the phone to, to in person. Because I was, this other, this lady, this other lady that I door knocked, um, this old lady, and maybe I'm just better with old ladies, but, uh, she, you know, she, I went to her door, said, you fill out the card, and um, she's like, well, I feel it exactly she said, but she said, either I'm not interested, I don't think she said that, I think she said, oh, well, I shouldn't have filled that out. And I just, what I did was I just really didn't even address it. And I said, is it better to catch her in the mornings or afternoons? And then I actually said the appointment with her. So I'm not sure what's thrown. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the other person um, being there that's thrown me off too. Um, what do you mean, the spouse? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Possibly. Yeah. Maybe. But I think I just, but yeah. it's it's the same principle. Same principle, yeah. Acknowledge, right. ignore, yeah. redirect. Right. When you're at the door, you're just yeah. trying to book an appointment. Right. And what do I say though? Well, if they tell me they have five hundred thousand in the bank, I mean, like, did they tell you that at the door? The yeah, one of the 
One of them did. Yeah. So you knocked on someone's door. They came to the door and said, oh, we just want to see what that was. Yeah, we got 500000 in our checking account. Yeah, that was the first couple that, that I talked to today. And I don't believe them because, you know, once we started talking, you know, I, I, t- I talked to him for a little bit. Once we started talking and, um, you know, he's like, Oh, I'm uninsurable anyway because I got diabetes. Blah blah blah. Um, they, they, I seem to have caught a glimmer of, I don't know what it was, reality that maybe they, their expression just said that they were, you know, really do need this. But I mean, it's not. I really can't quantify it, but they, because they didn't say anything, but it's just the feeling I got. But even they're telling me they have five hundred thousand dollars in the bank, which I I don't believe. Uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> did they really do need this? So yeah, I and don't know. him him. I think that him leaking those words out. So you you said you talked for him, to him for a little bit. So you were you were trying to engage him, right? Just stay in the yeah. fight, right? Right. And then so he right. starts. Then he starts leaking out the truth. Well, you can't uh, you can't cover me anyway. I'm uninsurable, bro. That's an interested prospect. That's the reason why I didn't want to meet. Most likely, yeah. Because he thought you wouldn't be able to cover him. He'd be wasting your time. Maybe he talked to state a State Farm agent and got declined. Um, yeah. you know, so you can say things like this. Use your tone. Drop your tone. Hey. Yeah, Earl, can we can we just kind of process this together? That's a great phrase. Can can and drop your tone. Can can we take a moment just to process this together? Hey Earl, can can we level with each other? Earl, can I can we be honest with each other? Most of the folks who send these cards in, Earl, they fall into one of three groups. The first group is they don't have any coverage. And they're concerned because they have a particular person in mind, a special person, maybe a wife, maybe a daughter, maybe a son. They don't want the financial burden to fall on them, and they're concerned. The second group, you see what I'm doing? Like, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, can, yeah. can we can we process this? Because I know that you're giving, I know you're giving me the knee jerk reaction. I know I'm a salesperson. I know I'm catching you off guard. But can I level you with you? All that? No, you I don't. Say all that? No, I don't, but that's the thought process. The process yeah, the thought process yeah. is hey, I I understand. I realize I'm probably catching you off guard, right? Just showing up at your door like this. <laughs> hey, so yeah. look, can I level with you? Like if they're telling me, "Oh, we didn't want that. We shouldn't have filled that out." It's like, <laughs> "Well, hey, it, it's in my mind I'm like, "Hey, I understand. I'm catching you off guard, right? I'm not here to twist your arm." Um but most of the folks, if I can level with you, Earl, if we could process this together, most of the folks that send these cards in fall into one of these three groups. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Which one do you think best describes you? Well, probably this one. Okay, great. My simple job is just to go over this information with you. It takes about five minutes depending on your questions. I can do that now or I can come back tomorrow. What would be better for you? You want to knock it out now? Okay, so yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm, I understand you're busy. I'm busy too. Tomorrow, what's better? Around 11 o'clock or like 9 o'clock? 9 a.m., you want to do that? And whichever whichever time you offer last, the last time they hear, that's statistically, that's the one they're going to pick more often than not. So if you're trying to push them into a time, uh-huh. You can use that. Like, I love morning okay. appointments. So, when's better to knock this out? Tomorrow around like 12 o'clock noon or more like in the morning, just get it over with like 9 a.m.? Like 9 a.m., you want to do that one? Like 9 a.m., that would be better? Okay. Yeah, I just, I really just need to get better at like what you said, acknowledging, ignoring, and, and moving on. Because I know, you know, the the I'm not interested in objection. I know in my mind it's not really anything, but but I, it's 
definitely different hearing it face to face than it is on the bell. Because you know when yeah. I was in Medicare, I heard that all the time. Sure, it's, and it's live, and these are repetitions. Yeah. These are reps. Yeah. Right. This is where you hone right. your craft, man. Right. Right. All right. Well, thanks for talking to that with me. Uh, yeah. Definitely. See, you think I should stop back at that one house yet sometime. Do you think you should? I don't. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, sure. Yeah, then why I mean, not? You already you know, spent the money. Exactly. And, and, I, and I am going to. And and I don't care. Like this is coming from. You know, me wanting to help somebody. Like, I guess I really shouldn't care if I, like I said the other day, get kicked out of the house or anything. You know, so, if I'm truly trying to help somebody figure out their final expenses, then then, uh, then I should make multiple steps. You know? Yeah, think about it like this. Say, say, say you're, you're not married, and you, you, but you see your wife, for the first time at a coffee shop, you're interested, you want to go talk to her, you go over there and you say, hey, my name's Matt, and you try to act like this big shot, right? You get out of your element. You try to be somebody you're not, and she completely blows you off. And then she walks out of the coffee shop, and you kind of chase after her, say, hey, 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 listen, I'm sorry about that. Can I level with you? Honestly, I thought you were really pretty. Honestly, I thought you were really pretty, and I was just trying to act like a big shot. Um, I don't even drive that kind of car. That's my hunk of junk over there. Um, but, wow, a real human being engaging me. Wow, somebody who's honest, somebody who's being transparent. So that's kind of the, the idea, man. It's like level with these people. Be present. Say, yeah. John... Now, I know you've been around long enough to know that there's nothing free in this world. Isn't that right? <laughs> right. So, so what on the, I know this card pretty straightforward, John. Now, and you don't bust their chops like you're being mean, but you can uh, use humor and say, yeah. oh, John, you're the fourth person who's told me that today. Come on now. Hey, when's it better to catch you guys? Like in the morning or the afternoon? Yeah. You ever okay. seen, you ever seen Kenny Brooks? Door knock? No. Oh my god. I'll send you this video. This guy sells a uh, spray door to door. Oh no, I saw it. <laughs> uh, I think the one, the guy who talks really fast. Yeah, he's so funny. He's like a stand up yeah. comedian, and before you know it, you're giving him 20 bucks. Yeah, I saw one of his clips. Uh, if you have some, send it over because I might not have seen it. He's but, uh, funny, bro. Yeah. He he'd say he'd say to people, it's all he says, Dad, he calls these the, the owner of the house, Dad, it's only twenty bucks. And I know you can afford it because your house is bigger than my whole neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says, Oh my god. I think I I think I took my uh that's not gonna take the cheese out of the macaroni. I think I took that from him. So you can use humor like that, and you know it cracks the ice. People are like, "All right, this guy's yeah. this guy's cool, man." Like, "All right," but if we're awkward and like nervous, and we're trying to make a sale, like, "Hi," you know, they're gonna sense that energy. But if you're yeah. having willing to have fun with them and kind of joke around, then yeah. you know, who do you you know think about that, dude? Don't you love people who have a sense of humor? Yeah. Yeah, so you can mix that in. Okay. You're doing a good job, though, man. Yeah, I am. I, I also need to you know, figure out, I know you said to keep control of it, but like, your other guys put up these large numbers, and my case size is really haven't been uh, that impressive. Dude, yeah. don't worry about that. Uh, don't, give, don't give two shits about that. It's all good. The case yeah. size will come. Okay? Yeah. When, like on, on Hoochie's replacement... The guy was already paying big money. Oh, okay. And so he was just replacing it and so it's that's easy. The big yeah. the big replacements, you find somebody that's paying one fifty and you can get them more coverage for the same price. I mean, you're gonna walk out of there with a hundred and fifty dollar sale. Right. Um now you can let me know like if you want to show let me know what numbers you're showing at the end of each presentation and I can see if there's an issue. 
Make sure you're not showing numbers based on your own personal finances. Show yeah. numbers like your bottom numbers should be like between 50 and 60 bucks usually. Like that should be the cheapest option right around 60 bucks because that's about the average. Okay. So if you show like 60, 80, and 100, like that's pretty good. And one thing I heard that I'm gonna, I think I might start teaching – I like to th show the three options that are all kind of reasonably close, you know? Yeah. But like a 60, 80, 100 or a 120, uh, 90, and 60 or something like that. But then I heard a guy say that he likes to show the maximum amount of coverage they can get with the carrier. And it's just like it's not really part of the decision process. It's just like you never know if they're going to pick it. And then it also might increase the likelihood that they pick the the most expensive of the three options you present. Yeah. So if I'm showing 10, 15, 20, and the 20,000 is 100 bucks, and then I show the most expensive options, 35,000, and that option's 205, right? And we say, hey, here's three options. Um, and then this is the maximum amount of coverage that you can actually get with this carrier who I think is going to approve you just because I like to let people know, hey, th this is the youngest you're going to be. This is the most you can get with Royal Neighbors. Because of that diabetic neuropathy, this is the one carrier that's best for you. So here's the max coverage, and here's boom, 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 three options. Okay. That's a good idea, too. So I've never done it. It's not true, like, tested yeah. and stuff, but... I heard a guy do it that's very successful, and I, I, I liked it. I was like, you know, I kind of like that. Yeah. Just from a perception standpoint, I think that would increase your case size. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm interested in like that. But, you know, and you, yeah, implement it, see how it goes. But don't worry too much about the case size, man. Don't worry about too much about getting out of the house faster. All you need to worry about is yeah. converting leads to applications, making sales, right now and yeah. the first objective of business is to stay in business <laughs> it's not to do business faster or to you know be you know don't worry about yeah. getting the eighty dollar check instead of a fifty yeah no you're right like my objective really this month is to make enough money so I can keep going exactly um, so that, that, if nothing else that should be my goal which it is so yeah. I haven't even gotten into, I've just started to get um, leads from my um, second direct mail drop that I got. So and those are just starting to come in now. So it's like, I'll have some really fresh ones. Uh, well, I already have some fresh ones, so I'll have more of them this week, hopefully. So. Good. And then I'm going to try to put, I think I'm going to try to put in the, because, uh, you know, all of these policies that I told you about, I've consulted with you on, they all should really right? You mean like getting approved? Yeah. Well, the Great Western's guaranteed issue, and then the other should give you an okay. instant decision. Okay. All right. Well, Aetna still, my Aetna policy I wrote on Friday still is an underwriting. Aetna, Aetna will do that from time to time. Okay. All right. Yeah, That's they don't always works. make give instant decisions. Yeah, because I was gonna, I was gonna make a lead purchase before I got my. You know, uh, commissions. Um, because I'm expecting, you know, it's like, I'm expecting command. So that's why I was asking that question. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to check with um, our aged lead inventory as well in Ohio to see what we have up in those counties you're working and uh, okay. see if we can kind of saturate the area even more with people to talk to. Yeah, like kind of direct mail aged? Yeah, aged direct mail. Awesome. All right, let me know. Thanks a lot, man, for your help. Appreciate yep. it. No problem, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.